Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Nick and I hope your day is going well. Today's video is about getting your A1 back to printing after a filament clog. There are three main areas where the clog can happen, so in this video I'll be taking you through a step-by-step -step process on how to check and remove the clog. This is a no-fluff tutorial, so let's get right to it. The first thing that we need to do is make sure that we power down our A1. You don't want to be poking around in your 3D printer when it's turned on. So let's go with safety first and make sure we turn it off. Now there are typically three main areas where the A1 normally clogs. The first place to check would be the AMS light filament hub. This has to be the number one problem area, at least from my experience. Now this is not an issue with the hub itself, but with filament that becomes brittle from sitting on the AMS light too long. What happens is the filament will break, causing the A1 to have problems with sending filament through to the extruder. To fix this, let's check each of the four ports on the filament hub. I like to use this tool from Maker World. I'll put a link down below. With the tool, press down on the black ring and pull up on the PTFE tube to release it from the hub. Once you have checked all the PTFE tubes and have eliminated that is the root cause of the clogging, it's time to check the next area, the hot end. The first thing that you need to do is remove the front cover from the tool head. Using your fingers, pull from the bottom sides of the cover straight out. It will swing upwards, allowing you to release the two arms holding onto the top. Next, let's remove the hot end silicone sock. Give it a light squeeze and pull it straight out. This is definitely something that you should be familiar with. Next, we need to remove the hot end. First, unbuckle the retaining clip and swing that to the right. Next, swing the other to the left. I like to grab the metal heat sink sticking out to the sides, and with that, give it a little tug down and out. It should come right out. There's a magnet across the back holding the hot end in place, so be aware of that. If it doesn't seem to budge, I've used a small flathead screwdriver or even my wood chisel and use it to lightly pry the hot end away from the hot end assembly behind it. Sometimes gunk can build up and it makes your hot end stick a little. This is one of my recommended maintenance cleaning steps for my A1 maintenance video. If you haven't seen that yet, check it out. I would definitely recommend it. Once your hot end is out, you may have a small piece of filament sticking out of the top. This is from the filament cutter, cutting it at that length. When making a color change, your printer will cut the filament right here. Then purge that amount through the nozzle until the new color is through. Once the hot end is out, give it a quick check to make sure there's no filament sticking out through the hole. If there happens to be filament there, try and give it a tug to see if it's loose enough to remove. Then our third step will help you with removing that. All right, now we're on to our third check. To access this area, we need to remove the filament hub first. I like to use my mini flathead screwdriver. It makes it much easier to pop the retaining clip and release the filament hub. Once that is done, make sure you give it a quick look just in case there's filament stuck in there. And this could be called our fourth area to check for clogs. The next step is to remove the two hex screws that are on top of the tool head, which is the filament sensor. Now when pulling the filament sensor off, you need to be careful. There is an electronic cable attached to it. All I do is just tilt it to the side and it comes right out. Once the filament sensor is moved out of the way, it should reveal where I believe my current clog is located. And yes, as you can see, a piece of broken filament is stuck right in the extruder gear. Using a pair of needle nose pliers, carefully remove the filament from the extruder gear assembly. Once that is done, place the filament sensor back where it goes and the two hex screws, then the filament hub. Make sure the clip is sitting in the correct spot or else it won't lock back down. It wouldn't be a bad idea to have an additional filament hub on hand. I have seen these break before, which will put your entire printer down until you get a replacement. I'll go ahead and add a link down below where you can find spare parts. Next, slide back on your hot end. Make sure the magnetic side is facing towards the back. Swing the left arm over the front and relock the retaining clip on the right. Next, go ahead and replace the rubber nozzle, then the cover, and turn the printer back on. Before jumping right back into printing, it's definitely optional, but you can go ahead and do a full calibration. In the menu, go into Settings, then Maintenance, then Calibration, and then hit Start. Hey, before I finish this video, I have a bonus tool that I wanted to show you. I recently got my hands on this tool called the No Clogger. It has saved me some time getting some clogs out without having to pull the entire tool head apart. All that I have to do is heat up the nozzle first. You can go ahead and set the nozzle to 250 degrees. While the nozzle is heating up, remove the AMS hub to give you some access to the filament hole that leads to the nozzle. Once the nozzle is hot, just insert the no clogger down into the hole. Give it some pressure and you'll begin to feel the filament move. You may get a quick pop and the stuck filament will purge through the nozzle. It's a super handy tool and I thought I'd give you guys a heads up. This tool is available on Amazon for under 20 bucks. There are a few different tools just like it, and I'll make sure I include a link down below. All right, that's it. I really hope this has helped you finding those clogs on your A1. Be sure to hit the subscribe button, like the video, and send me a comment down below. I always try to respond to everyone. 
If you haven't checked out my channel in the past, I have a ton of great tutorials that have helped thousands of people just like you. All right, that's it for now. I hope you're having a great day and as always, happy printing.